Hey guys, Ritesh Dalal here from Intellective. In this video, we'll learn how to embed SVG images in Service Portal and use dynamic colors without embedding actual SVG code in your widgets. This video was inspired by an excellent video posted by Travis and Sarah about a month ago, and that was about using SVGs in Service Portal in general. This one builds on top of that to further enhance dynamic SVGs in your UI. One main advantage of this approach is that we can reuse these images in multiple places and update it in one place and have it reflect everywhere. I'll write up a post about this soon, but in the meantime, if you're interested in implementing this on your portals, just message me and I'll send you the code. So without further ado, here it goes. This is a demo page where I have embedded the SVG image on the top right. Let's get into the implementation a bit. We have a standard portal record with mostly out of the box theme. Here I have updated some SAS variables for colors. One thing to note is the CSS include that's at the bottom of the theme. In this file, we're just going to create some CSS variables for colors and give them the values of the SAS variables we declared earlier. I do this so that we don't have to touch the file once it's created and we control all the colors right from the SAS itself. Next up is preparing your SVGs to use dynamic colors. Here is an SVG image exported from Sketch. As you can see that Sketch adds a bunch of metadata that we don't really need to render the image. What I like to do is clean up the SVG image or the SVG markup using this tool called SVG OMG built by Jake Archibald. I'll post a link to this in the description. Once we have the clean SVG markup, just replace any direct color references with CSS and use the CSS variable in place of the color name itself and then save it. Your SVG will show black color for the color that you just replaced because the color variable does not exist just yet. Next up, upload this SVG into ServiceNow. You can just use the images table like I did or you can add it as an attachment and use the IIS extension. The final step is to embed this SVG into your widget itself. If you embed it using a standard image tag, you will not be able to interact with the markup. So for that, we built this directive that lets you do just that. This directive embeds SVG and exposes the color variables we created earlier into the markup itself. And that should do it. So once you use the directive and embed it using that into the widget, you will be able to use these dynamic colors in your UI. And here we can start to change these uh, SAS colors and you'll see them reflect in the UI itself without having to touch anything else. And you can have multiple instances of the same SVG file embedded within the page and that will continue to work just as expected. Hope you like it. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out and don't forget to check out our awesome products that we have built to accelerate your app development on the ServiceNow platform.